Hello, this is Farad Tigrek. In this screencast, I will introduce the MVUE for linear models and the idea behind Blue. MVUE being the minimum variance unbiased estimator and Blue being the best linear unbiased estimator. I must warn you, in this screencast, there are almost no plots or animations to show how the estimators work. Both MVUE for linear models and Blue are found by clever manipulation of equations subject to zero bias and minimum variance constraints. So, please bear with me to see how these manipulations are done to derive the MVUE and blue. The starting point for the derivation of MVUE is the statement that a MVUE that is a function of the data presented as GX here has to satisfy the condition given on this slide. Note that besides the data vector x, we have a parameter vector theta that might contain more than one parameters to estimate. The i theta is the Fisher information matrix. If there are k parameters such that the parameter vector theta consists of parameters theta one to theta k, the Fisher information matrix is of size k by k. So we have a full-fledged vector expression here. Now, what kind of estimator can satisfy this condition? Before that, let's keep in mind the two conditions that are supposed to be satisfied by the estimator gx. One, its expected value must be equal to the parameter we want to estimate because gx is an unbiased estimator. And two, its variance must be equal to the inverse of the Fisher information matrix, which is the kramer row lower bound. These conditions define the minimum variance unbiased estimator. There's a data model that fits this form. Data that is composed of a linear signal model with additive white Gaussian noise. Let's start with the derivative of the log likelihood function for additive white Gaussian noise. I will not present the derivation here. I will only use the result that we have derived earlier. Remember, if we set this first derivative of the log likelihood function to zero and solve for theta, we get the maximum likelihood estimate for theta. Today, we are on a different quest. How this expression is related to the Fisher information matrix and the estimator itself so let's consider the second derivative of the log likelihood function. We take the derivative of the first derivative of the log likelihood function with respect to theta. The Fisher information matrix is minus one times the expected value of this expression, which is a deterministic number in this problem setting. The expected value of a deterministic number is the number itself. How to reach the expression we aim to get? Well, there's a way to isolate the Fisher information from the first derivative of the log likelihood function. Let's take the h transpose h expression from in front of the theta. But to do that, we need to multiply the h tra transpose x with the inverse of h transpose h. And we get the maximum likelihood estimator. GX turns out to be the maximum likelihood estimator. And let's invoke the original expression we aim to satisfy. We set out with the first derivative of the log likelihood function for linear signal model with additive white Gaussian noise. We show that it is indeed equal to the multiplication of the Fisher information matrix with the estimator minus the parameter to be estimated, that's theta. We also saw that the maximum likelihood estimator for the linear signal model in additive white Gaussian noise is the minimum variance unbiased estimator. And we know that maximum likelihood estimator is equivalent to the least squares estimate in this problem setting. So now you know how least squares estimator is the solution to polynomial curve fitting problems under additive white Gaussian noise. You also know the minimum variance, the Maximum likelihood estimate, least squares estimate, minimum variance unbiased estimator can attain for linear signal model in additive white Gaussian noise. The MVUE is the same expression we have found twice before. 
So let's continue with blue. Blue, the best linear unbiased estimator. Let's consider the case where we don't have the luxury of the log likelihood function because we have limited information on the noise. Can we still come up with an unbiased estimator with minimum variance? Obviously, without a log likelihood function, we cannot use the MVUE condition you see here. But here's the thing. We can still assume an estimator form and see whether we can satisfy the MVUE properties, zero bias, and the lowest possible variance for that particular class of estimators. We choose a linear estimator form. We have an estimator that estimates the parameters of interest through linear operations on the data. Each, par each element of our parameter vector theta is estimated by summing the multiplication of our data points with a set of coefficients. Here's our task. Find the coefficients for each parameter such that we have zero bias and minimum variance. So let's find a way to minimize the variance expression. Let's focus on the variance expression first. For convenience, we can write the variance in terms of vector operations. Collect the coefficients a, k, n in a coefficient vector and the samples x, n in a sample vector. The variance expression is now a little easier to manipulate. We can group the data and expected value for the data together and proceed to write the square of the expression. This operation reveals the first bit of information we need to come up with the best linear estimator. We have to know the covariance of the data, which is in turn determined by the covariance of the noise. Now, we still need to find the coefficients a, k to minimize this variance. What we haven't used so far is the signal model. In this sense, the results obtained so far are quite general. If you have an estimator that estimates parameters from linear operations on the data, the variance of the estimation is determined by the coefficients of the linear estimator and data covariance. To minimize the estimation variance, we need more information. In the end, those coefficients of the estimator have to be based on something, and that is the signal model. Let's adopt a linear signal model that consists of an observation matrix H and the parameter vector theta. The data is generated by this signal model plus some noise. Now, we have to go back to the unbiased condition. We can rewrite this expression for the parameter vector theta, which already reveals a couple of things. First, the noise has to be zero mean to avoid any bias. Second, we definitely need the production product of the coefficients of the estimator collected in the matrix A and the observation matrix to be equal to the identity matrix. You may be tempted to think that the solution is found that the coefficient matrix A has to be the inverse of the observation matrix. Well, it doesn't work that way. Consider this. The observation matrix H is quite possibly a long matrix, which means its number of rows is greater than its number of columns. So what do we mean by a long matrix? The number of parameters k is much less than the number of samples n. Consider the kth column of h and how it is multiplied by the jth row of a. Multiplication of the matrix a and h being equal to the identity matrix means the multiplication of the jth row of a with the kth column of h is zero unless as j is equal to k. Now, if we consider only a single column, how many row vectors a, j are there that satisfy the condition that its multiplication with the column vector h, k is zero? Well, the answer is infinite. There is no unique vector a that satisfies this condition unless k is equal to n. The same is true if the condition is that the multiplication results in a and real number. That is why the condition of minimizing the variance is essential. 
we want only those coefficients a that minimize the variance of our estimation. To clarify, there is a geometric interpretation of how this works. Assume we are dealing with vectors consisting of three coefficients. In other words, they are three-dimensional vectors. We can plot such a vector in Cartesian coordinates. For convenience, let our vector be 0, 0, 1. What is the vector that, when multiplied with this 0, 0, 1 vector, yields a 0? Obviously, you can assign any value you want to the first two entries. There's no unique vector that satisfies this condition. In fact, this condition defines the xy plane. So, if we are looking for a unique solution, we need some constraints. Minimum variance is the condition to satisfy when searching for the coefficients of the best linear unbiased estimator. We won't do the minimization here. I will provide the solution instead as the Gauss-Markov theorem. The Gauss-Markov theorem states that for a linear signal model with zero mean additive noise, the best linear unbiased estimator is obtained through this expression. And the covariance of the estimation is as follows. This estimator does not have to be the minimum variance unbiased estimator, but among the linear unbiased estimators, it has the lowest variance. Note that for Gaussian noise, this is actually the minimum variance unbiased estimator. This concludes our screencast for linear estimators. If you have any questions, please contact us. Have a nice day.